Assalamu alaikum everybody, my name is Rosie Amina Guzman. Amina is the name that I chose once I converted to Islam. It means faithful. Um, I am 23 years old. I am Dominican and I was Seventh-day Adventist for 23 years and I converted to Islam five days ago. Um, so growing up, I had a lot of questions. I had a lot of questions and everyone just seemed to tell me the same thing. You gotta have faith. Also, growing up in a Seventh-day Adventist Hispanic household, it was very difficult to look outside of our religion. Not to mention that the town where I grew up was mostly Seventh-day Adventist. So I didn't really know about other religions besides like, you know, there's Christianity, Catholics, stuff like that because that's what you mostly see especially where I grew up um so I didn't even know anything about Islam so the way that I heard about Islam was during this Ramadan um my friend told me that it was Ramadan and I was like what is that and I kept seeing this word Allah and I was like what is that they keep mentioning it and so I go and I translate it and I was mind blown <laughs> mind blown because Allah meant God. It's the Arabic word for God. And honestly, so anytime that I had seen like Muslims or anything like that, I always thought, you know, they have like idols and stuff like that. And, and yeah, like growing up, I was just so like, I was so close to God. And then after some time, I kind of slowly started fading away, you know, kind of separating myself. But I was still, you know, going to church every Saturday and stuff like that. But I didn't really practice. Then, uh, about four years ago, I was pregnant. I was pregnant with my son, Mateo. And once I found out that I was pregnant, it was like I felt this really, really strong calling that I wanted to preach. That same calling that I felt when I was four years old, I was feeling it again at the age of 19. I just felt like I had this, this fire inside of me that it was like, preach, preach God's word, you know? But unfortunately, uh, three months after my son was born, he passed away. He passed away from SIDS, which is where they forget how to breathe while they're sleeping. Um, and I lost that, that, that fire that I had in me, it was like somebody threw water on and just put it out. There was no little flame. There was no, completely fire out. And then when my friend told me about Islam, when they told me about Ramadan and that I saw the word, as soon as I saw the word Allah meant God, it was like that fire lit up again. I was like, okay, like I need to know more about it. Why am I feeling this way? And I just, I did so much research. I did, I was going crazy. I would get up and I was studying Islam. I would go to sleep studying Islam. I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would be studying Islam. I couldn't stop until uh, five days ago when I decided, okay, no, I, I need to do this. My family was my biggest concern because my parents have always been so, so into their religion into their faith so i was very i was very worried about how they were going to react but i started praying as soon as i as soon as i was like okay i need to do this i started praying i had friends praying for me i had a whole group on facebook of muslim women praying for me before i went to my mom's house i prayed i was like lord You're the one that's that's doing all this. I I don't even know how I got here, but you're the one doing all of this. So let this go well, <laughs> please. So I take my mom outside um, to the back porch, and you know I start kind of telling her, and she was like, okay, okay, and I'm here like. She's she gonna scream, is she gonna yell? And what, what is she gonna do? But, Alhamdulillah, my mother said, you're an adult. 
You make your own decisions. That's fine. And so I was so concerned about telling my dad and my sister that I told my mom, I was like, you have my full permission to tell them. Um, my dad's still a little, like, he, we had a little conversations about, like, no this, no this, you know, he, he fights for his faith, and that's okay. Um, my sister, she, we haven't really talked about it. My mom told her, and she has not brought it up. But thankfully, they have, they have all been really good. So you would think that the biggest change for me would be the head covering because even before I would never cover my hair, not even with a hoodie. Like I just couldn't, I, my hair was out all the time. But even before I took my Shahada, I was already wearing it. I was like, no, I like, and people told me you don't have to wear it. That's your personal decision with God. I was like, okay, but I'm wearing it. But really the biggest change for me was all the hate and negative comments that I got from, from people that I've grown up with, that I, I've known my whole life. Okay, so the first thing I would say is you would not go to an atheist to learn about Christianity. So please, whatever you do, go to someone who has lived and practice Islam. And may Allah have mercy on us all.